How you doing? This is Vinny, and this is the world according to Vinny. A uh, beautiful day here in southern Indiana. I think it's going to be 63 degrees, especially different, uh, better and um, much better smoking the McAuliffe uh, Grande Bold Maduro. I'm going to have a picture. Of, you should be seeing a picture uh, of that that I took. But I'm smoking that. Oh my, that's wonderful. So I'm smoking that, but I wanted to get on here today. I've got probably a couple uh, episodes more this week. You've seen the one that went up uh, Monday. Um, I just had to get that out because I am, um, you know, I'm pretty pretty active in uh, in the politic field. Um, I just think uh, that we needed to, you know, get that out. I've already sent that to. Uh, uh, my representative and Governor Holcomb from Indiana. So, but I had a few other things that it's just going on. We need to talk about it. So, anyway, first of all, something new. Uh, if you happen to, and if you're on my Facebooks, you'll see the link. But if you happen to be, you want to, you're shopping through uh, Amazon. Uh, I got part of the affiliate program, and at the bottom of the in the uh, description, uh, there'll be a link. And if you happen to be wanting to shop, I'd appreciate if you would go on that link. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, what what Amazon does, it, it, it gives me a little something, I think, back uh, to help the YouTube channel. So I'd appreciate you doing that and also subscribing. And make sure you hit the like button. Really appreciate that. So, well, let's go on. I want to talk about uh, House Resolution Bill 1, HR1. The scary part to me, now you're going to hear two different sides, but if you really break it down, it's going to federalize and micromanage the election process um, that states are supposed to uh, handle, even federally. Uh, they make decisions when the, you know, all of that. Um, and what it's going to do is going to impose unnecessary, unwise, unconstitutional mandates on the states reversing the decentralization of America election process, uh, which is the essential to the protection of our liberty and freedom. Um, it would, among other things, implement nationwide the worst changes in election rules that occurred during the 2020. It's even going further in eroding and eliminating basic security protocols that states have in place now and interfere with the ability of states and their citizens to determine the qualifications and the eligibility of voters ensure the accuracy of voter registration rolls, which you've heard me talk about all the time, um, and participate and speak freely in the political process. Um, you know, the takeaway is really it's just going to federalize and uh, micromanage the process. Uh, again, it's going to reverse the and decentralize all of the American process. Basically, it's going to have the federal government control how each state would do that. Uh, you know, I don't understand. Don't get it. Um, I'm a big Tenth Amendment guy, so I would hope that you would call your congressman um, and your senators and go, you know, really, come on, stop. Enough's enough. I mean, let let us let our states handle it like it's been forever, and we'll be okay. So. Uh, the other thing is I want to bring up, let me light this cigar because this is awful good. The other thing I'm concerned about, you know, you've seen all this cancel, cancel, uh, cancel culture. Uh, but the one thing I'm concerned about is, you know, if I don't like a TV show or if I don't like a book or if I don't like a movie or I don't like a YouTube channel, I, I don't have to watch it. I just, you know, skip. I just move on. Same with uh, stuff on cable. Um, I don't have cable now because I didn't want to watch Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. I just didn't. But I found a source where I can go look at M uh, Newsmax or OAN or Blaze TV or a myriad of other things. It's my choice. But the attempt by several House Democrats to pressure television carriers to deplatform certain news organizations. It, it, uh, according to Alan Dershowitz, who is a Democrat, he said there's going to be it's going 
It's going to be lawsuits coming. Um, when it says, the quote, when the First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law, a law abridging the freedom of speech, it has been interpreted to mean take no action. It doesn't have to be the law. The First Amendment applies to presidents, to governors, to mayors, to anyone who can abridge the freedom of speech. And I think these letters abridge the freedom of speech, Dershowitz said during his appearance on Newsmax. I guess, oh my God, I guess it makes perfect sense. Representatives from California, Jerry McNerney and Anna Eshoo, sent a dozen letters uh, to different carriers this week. Um, they don't want Fox, Newsmax, One America. Um, I, I mean, come on, people. Um, do we really want to go there? I mean, that, I mean, all I say is, um, a ranking member of Kathy McMorris Rogers from Washington uh, criticized the letters in an attack on the First Amendment, which it is. Uh, this is starting to get ridiculous and silly, so I don't understand it. Um, I just wanted to put something out quick, but if you would, um, you know, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and again, check out that Amazon. I'll put that link in the bottom. Uh, check out uh, if you're going to buy through Amazon. I really appreciate you going through that and sharing that. You can share that link to whoever you want. And again, I'm going to, um, a little ha ha hats off to McAuliffe Cigars for the uh, Grande Bold Maduro. I'll have a picture, I believe I'll have a picture of it sitting out real nice. Uh, it's just outstanding. Um, I'm enjoying them. Um, so, go get yourself some Macau cigars. And keep up on all the crazy stuff going on in this world. I have a Sunday fun day. I uh, just want to say it's going to be, I think, more sport. Going to have some sports. Kind of highlight some sports stuff. A little fun there. And then I may have a cigar unwrapping from a subscription that I, I get. And I'll talk about that later this week. So, you take care. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hit hit the like and the share and all that good stuff. You'll be good. See you later.